It has been an incredible journey. It just shows how much we want to connect with each other, even if we can't be in the same physical space. Tested. That would be the fifth time for me in two and a half weeks. I don't mind getting poked in the nose. It's actually quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> we created encounters across cultures because we think that a really important element of creativity is having access to points of view different from your own. In dance, some of the most beautiful movements, most powerful movements, are a result of opposition. It's an opposition that we create inside our bodies, or you find opposition in each other. Encounters Across Culture, the program, the spirit is, is similar in that sense that you're trying to put together people of very different strength, different cultural backgrounds. You put them together, there's this friction, there's this slightly uncomfortable feeling and then suddenly there are sparks and magic and beautiful things happen. Art and culture is actually a really core part of who we are and what our houses represent. In Shanghai, you have the middle house. is the blending of Shanghainese aesthetics with Italian sensibilities. The opposite house in Beijing is very much like an art gallery imagined by Ken Gokuma. We imagined the project as a big digital experience for the audience. With the idea of exploration and, and voyage, we thought of two dancers as two guides for each house. The theme this year is about dance and architecture, um, representing body movement and structure. Well, encounter is where people meet the space with guests in front of the installation. The space transforms into a moving sculpture, following the motion of the guests. The Connect installation transforms body movement into geometric shapes, revealing a moving art form. We wanted to connect creators from different cultural backgrounds and even different creative disciplines to collaborate. Being open to different ideas, being open to people of very different cultural backgrounds and trying to integrate that with their own ideas, their own perspective into something beautiful. So what we do guys, is that we try to take the camera, play a bit with the framing. Architecture sits in time, yes? Dance cannot really be captured, yeah? It's a flow. So we thought that that, that was the meeting point, time. And from that idea, interaction with the audience, we offer them the opportunity to play with time. So we have five screens that are mixing both houses. The audience can recompose their own moments of dance and spaces. They create their own voyage, their own experience. There were times that we were hoping for the pandemic to not become a challenge for us. And then we came to realize we won't be able to all be in the same place. And together with the House Collective team, we decided to continue as the original team because we were creating something beautiful together. Working remotely with the dancers uh, was a really new thing uh, for us. Uh, quite a challenge actually with the with the language barrier on top of it. First we had to work out the design without being there. Everyone had to extend our imagination to the execution process. This uh, culture clash that actually creates such an explosion of creativity. Three phrases that I would use to describe my experience as a curator and as a producer. Immense passion, beautifully uncomfortable, and again please. <laughs>